Previously on The Potentialists. The Power Journey is an executive retreat. It's a transformational, empowering, team building event like no other. This is The Power Journey. The agents will be here tomorrow and you guys will see the whole life transformation. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. In consideration for the confidentiality of our more high-profile Power Journey attendees, we have protected some of the participants' identities in order to preserve their best interests. Oh, let's see, um, besides getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. I woke up open-minded. The, the uh, limo driver, that was really a lot of fun. We were I was amazed at 5 o'clock when the limo pulled up. We were all, like, stunned. The, the airport was fun. Of course, the flight was delayed about, what, about two hours, something like that. We had a lot of fun just interacting and being goofy, tired, and anticipating the delayed flight. And we're all, of course, wondering, like, what's going on, what's going to be happening, and what's it all about. So Buster and the rest of the Power Journey agents took to the skies and made their way all the way up to Orlando, Florida, where they met up with a BOA team who was eagerly awaiting their arrival. Well, on the way to the airport, we're going to pick up the team. They have no clue what's in store for them. They have no clue what we've been getting ready for. And then he hands the little notes and... We are glad you made it safely to Amanda. We hope your ride was short and smooth. No, it was long and rocky. Yeah. And then we played the game. You have to figure out the code to enter your next adventure. This is a code you can count on. Charlie had them. A slap will include them. They placed her in a glass coffin. Placed her in a glass coffin. Lust and greed were among them. Okay, well we've got this, the seven sins. Okay, wait, wait. Right. When you put them together, one person will be rewarded. Okay, well, Charlie has them. That would be angels. So, wait, the seven. We love you for four. Seven. Okay, we got one. Seven. Seven works. Oh, the slap will include the five fingers. There you go. Okay, Charlie has them. Charlie has them. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie. Charles Manson had a family. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. Charlie has three angels. There we go, we got it. <laughs> this is the code you can count on. Put Charlie first. Three. Okay. Five. Seven. seven. Okay. I didn't know if we were in a hotel or I was thinking some cabin with bunks. You know, I'm thinking boot camp. And once the agents had cracked the code and arrived at the Power Journey Retreat House, they had to use it in order to get inside. And even though they had solved the code, some didn't know how to use it. But Buster eventually did manage to remember the code to get in. And once everyone was settled in, the rules and the expectations for the power journey were set. A little nervous about uh, being on display emotionally. Mm. You gotta dig a week. I'm here because I don't want to work for a week. I haven't a clue who I am at this moment, so hopefully this will help. I don't know. Find ourselves and come together as a team and really get this really going and, and learn who we are. Good. Your wallets must be placed in lockdown and turn in your ID. You have no money, you pay no tips, no responsibility. The only one that has money right now is the $25 you can keep in your pocket. Okay. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. Let's go. This sunlight is awesome. I love my room. This is awesome. And once inside of their rooms, a few more surprises awaited them. Oh my god! <laughs> Journal to write, slippers. Welcome. 
Welcome to Power Journey Bootcamp Headquarters. We have selected special accommodations for your stay. We hope you enjoy them. We have an exciting week planned for you with lots of surprises, games, activities, exercises, and fun. So get ready. Right now you have 30 minutes to relax and then get dressed in the black boa scrubs. When you're finished, please meet us downstairs. Awesome. And like clockwork, the group got together downstairs and awaited instructions while admiring their yeah, surroundings. I'm just very grateful. I'm very grateful to be here with people that I feel safe with. Some of you will cry for a couple of days or one moment. Some of you will get angry. In order to grow, you have to let go. You hear that in my seminars, but people really don't have the time or the place to do it. This is your week. You're not here to cater to no one. We yes. cater to you. And then they began playing a game of truth or dare. Pick a truth or you pick a dare. If you pick a truth, you gotta say some dark secret or whatever, you know. And the first dare to be picked by Buster was to sing his favorite song to the group. At the twilight last gleaming, that stars take the day. I'm not a singer. Or the land of the free. This is her dare. No, I'm not ready for it. No, 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 too late, open it. The most difficult one, you had to pick it. Now, this is what happens. You have a choice of saying, okay, I'm not gonna do it, and then let's say we forgive you and we say, okay. Then that starts killing the whole system when you said, I'm in. Yes. Look, okay. don't feel so bad. Is there more? It's a new oh, yeah. batch, a new oh, batch. <laughs> How you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?